Like, what? what is over here? Let me hope I'm not making, like, a big mistake after, like, opening all those. Oh, it's another champion! 17, so... Uh... This, this is a peculiar champion. It has the elemental shift trait. Whenever it attacks, it will change its resistance and weaknesses according to the element of its attack. Which means that it can have any elemental weakness and resistance. Choose your party wisely. We're gonna go with the bread and butter. <laughs> what is up, guys? And welcome back to some more Monster Sanctuary. Uh, you might notice that my character looks a little bit different with the jacket's a different color. It's like the, the male character model and the skin's darker. So I didn't realize that there's like a bunch of different options for customization for your character. So uh, I opted to switch it to the brother. So here we are. <laughs> I'll end up showing you guys later on what like some of those other choices are as we unlock more costumes. But pretty much like right now, you just have the basic of choosing uh, like different, um, different hair, hair and like your clothes color for like the basic bit pretty much. And unfortunately, this is like the only one with like the brown skin tone going on. But you know what they say, representation matters. So we're here in Ancient Woods. Uh, we're going to go meet up with Julie, I believe. I'm hoping she doesn't get her spectral uh, monster taken or made disappear. But who knows, we might be like the only one left with the spectral one and we have to go like be in charge of saving everybody maybe. What are you guys weak against? Oh fire. I don't have anything for fire. I should probably start trying to have something for fire, right? Damn, you dodged all them things. But you can't dodge the crits. Ooh, five stars, another Nightwing egg. Perfect. Oh, snap. Let me uh, switch here. Oh, that's intense. They wrong for this one. I'll figure this out. There we go. Oh, this dropped us back out with the stronghold dungeon. And then we have the magma chamber over here, which we don't even need to be here yet. So I'll just Cut us back to when we're back uh, in ancient woods. I wish I had a fast travel. This time we'll go up instead of going down. We're blocked off right there, so I'm not sure what uh, skill I need to destroy those. Okay.
All right, we got that yellow switch. So now we gotta figure out. Well, actually, no, I think we can go straight up from here now. Yeah. Is this just for items? Home to ancient woods key. Okay, well, we had to come here anyway, it seems. Yeah, now we're done with this section, so we'll just head on up now. Yeah, I like how they're adding in these like new puzzles for us to do uh, on top of it being like a platformer uh, and like monster catching, monster hunting game. some iron hope we could like come across like a fast travel spot careful keeper seeker past this point the goblins have taken over the ancient woods there must be a new goblin king otherwise the goblins would never work together like this but it's odd why does it happen now it's almost as if something or someone is behind it so we need one more key so we'll get to it So since we're going to be like fighting these guys like in their like evolved forms, I'm assuming that that means that we're going to have to, or I guess when we win, we always get like the baby form of them, because then we'll have to come back here to evolve them or something. That's my assumption. There's a new goblin king in the ancient woods. I've seen it with my own eyes. His band surrounded me and they harassed me with their strange goblin language. I was so scared I ran to stop only when I reached this place. Someone's gotta teach those goblins a lesson. You're a spectral keeper, aren't you? You should take care of them. The goblin king is probably hiding up at the goblin fort east of here. Defeat him and the goblins will see what's next. Maybe some of the warriors will aid you against those goblin ruffians. A bow? Each attack triggers an additional 20% damage? Heavy mace? Non-crit damage increased by 10%. And then poison dart. Every hit has a two point. That's low. Each attack triggers an additional 20%. Wow, that's nice. But I think I want to get this heavy mace. And I think for now, I just want to put that on crackhead. <laughs> or I guess when I upgrade it, That'll be a nice, like, little passive to have there, right? Oh, well, we got the fast travel here. Some monsters that you find in the sanctuary can change into a completely different form. Would you like to know more? Hell yeah! In nature, this occurs through the lengthy process of metamorphosis. However, the tree of evolution can speed up the process. You only need a certain item to make a monster evolve. A catalyst. Each monster with an evolution needs a different catalyst. Present the monster together with the catalyst at the Tree of Evolution to change its form. However, be warned that your monster will lose many of its abilities and features on evolution. Generally, an evolved monster is stronger than before, but you might not like the changes. So it's absolutely okay not to evolve your monster if you don't want its abilities to change. Sometimes keepers come to me and bring their catalyst that they found when they have no use for them. There's no reward in it. Those keepers just want somebody else to get something out of it. You say I don't even know exactly which monsters these catalysts are for. It'd be interesting to see someone figure out which monster can evolve thanks to these catalysts. You travel a lot, don't you? You must see a lot of different monsters across the sanctuary. Recently, somebody came by and gave me this magical clay. I can give you a small hint, at least. This clay is from the same river as the monster that needs it to evolve. It's said that if you rub that monster's back with this clay, it grows into a large dragon-type monster. Uh, okay. So where do I go to... Present a catalyst of the Tree of Evolution to change the form. So we can use that. Okay, that's how you evolve into Gurulu, okay. 
All right, well, we're gonna do our first evolutions real quick. So now we got Grulu. Present the catalyst at the tree of evolution. And then we're gonna use this. Uh, how do I know which one is the... Because I don't want it to be the one that I fight with. I think I want him to stay the same. I believe in the monster journal, uh, it showed that its stats changed. So yeah, it went from being, oh no, its stats like really didn't change, but I guess, F it guys, I can always get another one. I'm thinking it's this one. <laughs> I think they're like set up like from levels and names. Yeah, okay. So then, now that we've evolved him, you have different abilities. I think this one could now be like my damage, my fire damage dealer. This is the Tree of Evolution, the most important monument of the Monster Sanctuary. Would you like to know more about the history of this place? Hell yeah. It was here that there was the war between the first keepers and the kings of the old world was ended. Right underneath this tree, a powerful spell was cast that brought all the other areas of the sanctuary into being. The ancient woods are the only area that was once part of the old world. Everything else was created by magic. They say that the lands of the old world were struck by powerful earth shakes as a result. But at last, there was peace and the monsters had a land of their own. Ever since, the tree of evolution stands as a symbol of change and the potential of the bond between monsters and keepers. An individual monster's name is important for a successful bond between Keeper and Monster. If you like, I can change one of your monster's nicknames. It will still obey when you call it by its new name. <laughs> okay, so at least we know we can like rename stuff. And we got that Ancient Woods key, so... That means we're gonna head on out uh, to go unlock that other door. Oh, goblins. And like, don't tell me like goblins are actually like strong against water and weak against fire. <laughs> oh, you're just weak against physical in general. Okay, that's good to know. Are we gonna get like a goblin egg after this though? That's like the really important stuff. Nope. But we got a smoke bomb. Okay. Five hundred gold, nice. Two, three, four sets of goblin ears. That should be enough for at least two more elixirs. It's another one of the alchemists, and it's the one we saw in the blue caves. He's got to be the one who angered the goblins, huh? Another one of you? No, you're the same one as the one before, aren't you? Yes, don't deny it. You're the one who defeated my minotaur champion. And I used quite a fine elixir on that one to turn it. Oh, so the el these elixirs are what's making a lot of these monsters into champions. That's why there's like this abnormal amount of them popping up. Darn monster keepers, you're all just simpletons. No eye for the bigger picture at all. Monsters aren't your friends. You pretend to be their guardians even though you're actually their jailers. And for what purpose? Just for this illusion of peace and order? You have no idea how they could be used as tools for anarchy and chaos. I will let loose my monsters on you and show you. Tremble before Ostanis. Uh, alrighty. You already know what the plan is.
That actually did a lot. <laughs> I don't like how much that did. <laughs> Wait, that didn't take you out? What the heck? Oh, man. Nova's gonna go down on this run. The fact that he took out one of mine before I took out one of his is annoying. It's because this bear and this minotaur are like strong as hell. And we got the burn, nice. I need to apply these status afflictions more. See, we're getting back into it. Good thing I evolved a uh, magma pillar. I don't have enough for it. Damn. So it's actually like pretty intense. Ooh, so close to having that burn take him out.
But we got this now. I will say for sure though that the um that the poison with the bleed is like so deadly for my team. Well, I guess for any team in general, right? There we go. Get out of here. How can this be? Oh, of course, you have the spectral familiar on your side. Without it, you'd be so much weaker. I mean, I did the fight pretty much without my spectral familiar, but I... <laughs> Anyway, just because you defeated me doesn't mean I gotta come with you. <laughs> this is why you'll never win. Hey, who's that stranger? What's with that weird ominous getup? He's the reason why the goblins are acting up. Oh, I guess it's time for me to run. <laughs> yeah. Quick, after him. We sherry up as well. We can't let him get away like that. Ancient Woods Key. Okay, cool, cool. But then we went this way. Because honestly, sometimes it's hard to tell, like, what's a... What's a good path to take or not. Sometimes, like, the items aren't even, like, worth it. Ah! What is this nonsense? Release me, you foul beast! Don't you know who I am? I am Ostanis, one of the ancient order of alchemists. Looks like the golems have caught him already. Serves him right. What's happening here? Did this guy get caught on his own? Who is he exactly anyway? He's a member of an old order of alchemists. It seems like they want to cause chaos in our sanctuary for whatever purpose. An alchemist? In our sanctuary? I heard stories about them, but I had no idea they were still around. Well, I guess we better put him in chains first and then we find out the details. Don't worry about these goblins. They'll listen to a high-ranking monster keeper like me. We'll put this guy in the prison cells at the Stronghold Dungeon. You should come there later. But first, you have to deal with the Goblin King. Goblins don't really listen to reason, so you have to deal with him the old-fashioned way. I would have loved to do this myself, but duty comes first. And I'd make a bad example for you, rookie, if I neglected my own responsibilities. Alright then, see you later. Goblins, let's put this criminal where he belongs. Alrighty. I guess that's fine. I can sense a monster of great power behind this door. That must be the Goblin King. Let's take him on. And he's probably a champion too. Oh! Is he a champion with... Uh... With these like supporting... Goblins? Wow! Yeah, he is! I want to get this like first hit in <laughs> just to get bleed on him. Oh, damn, we didn't apply bleed. Cool. <laughs> We'll take out the other ones. I should have just did that in the first round. Just take out one, take out the other, and so that way we can just focus on uh, the Goblin King. But he doesn't look like he's going to be that bad at all either. Damn, that was like two or three hits for like 900 each, right? 
These crits are insane. Yeah, he's not that bad at all. Ooh, those were nice. Y'all saw those. That was like 2,000 damage. There we go. Victory. Ooh, and we get four stars on that too? Oh, we got a crown? Plus 10 defense, health, and man. Oh, that's nice. Another champion down. I hope that the ancient woods will be, will be more peaceful now. Now we should go back to the prison cells in the stronghold dungeon. Let's see what the information they got out of the alchemist. Yeah, let's see what else is over here first though. 400 gold and a cape level three. Wow, that's nice. Oh, they got all these elements here. So <laughs> let me use these. I'll use these before I end up like the episode. What, what is over here? Let me hope I'm not making like a big mistake after like opening all those. Oh, it's another champion. 17, so. Uh, this, this is a peculiar champion. It has the elemental shift trait. Whenever it attacks, it will change its resistance and weaknesses according to the element of its attack, which means that it can have any elemental weakness and resistance. Choose your party wisely. We don't go with the bread and butter. <laughs> So right now it doesn't have like any weaknesses. It just switched to like fire elemental. Is that what I'm getting from that? the heck was that? That was dope. <laughs> it's actually really neat that it's like changing up its uh, weaknesses. But I'm glad like my team is pretty much good enough for this. We can beast it. This is going to be a quick champion fight for us.
Let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go. There we go. Feather three. You ascended to Keeper Lancer rank. New items available at the Trader. Oh, wow, we're already Lancer rank. Okay, that's pretty neat. Horizon Beach. Oh, that's a new map. We do not want to do that. But guys, I'm going to end this episode off right here. We had, uh, what, like two champion fights, which are pretty quick. And then we also had like the trainer battle with, uh, or I guess Keeper, Monster Keeper battle with uh, whatever his name was with an O. But I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps with the video a lot. And also subscribe to my channel because it lets me know you enjoy the content to see right here. But with that said, stay sharp. Later.